Hey folks, Joseph A. Savara here, and I'm with my mother, and we're driving along on a Thanksgiving night, which is now 12 a.m., well, actually 12.30 a.m., and we're going to look at some of those Black Friday deals that they have. I'm going to see if they have some movies that they have such as Blu-rays or DVDs or whatever, but mostly I might get Blu-rays for a lot less. So anyway, uh, we're going to be heading out to Walmart and see if we can find some good deals on those titles that they have. Yeah, and here's Walmart. Adulte, California. So we're going to be on our way to see What's cooking over there? Yeah. Okay, let's see right there. They also have McDonald's included. So you can even see the M Golden Arches. Well, when we just got out of the car, we just spotted a black cat. <laughs> yeah, go figure. It was like, like almost, almost like 10 years old or something. <laughs> just running around Walmart. It was just to go get some good deals. Yeah, well, as you can see, it's not nearly as crowded as, as I thought because they started a little early at 8 p.m. So they call it Black Thursday now. See, and they got the classic Doritos. Tortilla chips, taco flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Bring back the classics. Wow, we have the new ones. Well, look at all these other titles they have. Even falling down. <laughs> for, no, that's not the right price. That's for that stupid movie right there. One Direction. Okay, that, that doesn't make any sense. Why would they put it on the wrong prices? And even Percy Jackson, too. Lightning Thief. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to check to see how much that cost. And there's Isla Lucy. The Christmas colorized for kids of all ages. <laughs> Santa. Wow, they have everything. Yeah, this might be the one where they take all these episodes and they colorize them. Especially with the Christmas episode that they had. But I have them all already, so <laughs> what's the point? Monsters University. Yes, this should be at that price, so I'm going to see if I pick this up. Bounty Killer. Parkland. Only, Only God Forgives. That new one with Ryan Gosling. I heard it's pretty good. Shrek the Musical. Katy Perry's Prison. The Internship. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait for the title to have the, the Google font. Yeah, no wonder it's a Google movie. And Sally, not a very good one. Mm. Oh, so many titles here. So I just got out of Walmart today. And wow, we had a long line over there. We only stay there for only almost two hours, but it turned out to be pretty good. We had a hard time looking for the the cook pot that we just bought for our one of our cousins, and we're already getting all this other clothes and everything for everybody, the entire family, and. I finally got those t 10 titles of Blu-rays. So far I got 5 Blu-rays that cost 3.96, 2 
two Blu-rays that were $6.96 and the other two were $9.96 so it's not bad almost went up to $80 so that's uh, that's more than what you bargain for and here are the titles I just bought recently right here yep I got the Goonies, the Gremlins, and Gremlins 2. This is, of course, a triple feature Blu ray. It has all three movies together. Awesome deal. Along with that is the triple feature of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie. All three of them. That includes the second movie, The Secret of the Ooze. And the movie, which a lot of people hated, but I'm sure some people really enjoy this. I didn't think it wasn't so bad either. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtle in Time. Yeah, the third movie. But it was worth it. But in my opinion, at least they're way better than the last one, which came out in 2007. I mean, yes, it's part of it, but it's definitely not something I want to waste my money on. And, of course, I got the movie Monsters University, the sequel to Monsters, Inc. Awesome movie. Did a review on it just recently, so that's cool. The Little Mermaid on Blu-ray for the very first time. Yeah, I owned the Platinum Edition DVD back in 2006, the two disc special edition, and it was definitely worth getting. I heard the Blu-ray looks amazing, judging by the picture quality, and it has some new features that's not on the, on the 2006 release. So, but it does have some of the same features from that release. So, that's the main reason to get this. And of course, Carly Rae Jepsen, yeah, the, the singer, who sang the song, Call Me Maybe. And also, I got two titles of one of my favorite films I've seen. Braveheart with Mel Gibson and Gladiator with Russell Crowe. And yes, folks, this is not the DNR edition. This is the real thing. The remastered version. See, because it has the the year... If it says 2010, it's definitely the right version. So that's, that's cool. I'm glad they sell this still. So that way people won't get confused. The Dark Knight Rises. Yep, the third movie... Of the Dark Knight trilogy that Christopher Nolan had directed. So now I own all three of the the Christopher Nolan's trilogies of the Dark Knight. So now I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> but it was worth completing the collection. I also bought Evil Dead, the very first film. I'll definitely buy the sequel to this because I know that's been out on Blu-ray for a while and but it's definitely worth getting because if you love the movie Evil Dead this is the real thing and it's the original not that crappy remake you know Bruce Campbell is, is the bomb in, in this film and of course I got the classic film a very timeless classic The Wizard of Oz on Blu-ray the 75th anniversary edition. This is not the 3D version as you could tell but this is the main reason for me to get it because I never own this movie on Blu-ray. I only own the DVD. And finally, which I'm having some hard times taking it out, Percy Jackson and Olympians The Lightning Thief. The very first film, which in my opinion, it's a whole lot better. But don't get me wrong, the second one was okay. And I really did enjoy it quite as, as much as I could. But not nearly as good as this movie, that's for sure. 
And in fact, I have yet to do a review on this since I already did the review of the sequel. And it has all the special features right here on Blu-ray. Yeah. I own, of course, I did own this on DVD that I got from Blockbuster. But I figured since this one didn't have any special features, this was the only way I could deal with. So yeah. I know Target had one for $10 when um, they had the combo pack that also includes the DVD and the digital copy. But it's pretty much the same, so since I didn't own this on Blu-ray, I figured this is a must-read. So, yep. That's all the Blu-rays I bought at Walmart, and like I say, it was a, it's a good deal. I might get another Blu-ray um, later on, because I think we're going to go to Best Buy if we get a chance. So, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, it's raining in Arcadia, and we're just on the freeway. Hopefully we're going to look for, hopefully we'll get some gas, because running out yeah, right here. Trying to find the first gas station to get out. Yeah, which would be at Rosemead, so because there is a gas station there. Okay. And so we're probably going to see if we can go to oh, Best Buy. we're getting off at the Rosemead? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to see if we can go to Best Buy and see if maybe they have something good over there for a little while. Yeah, and it was raining it just as the weatherman problems. Well, it wasn't so bad. Um, it wasn't nearly as crowded as I thought it would be. But it probably was okay, when south it started. Or the other one? Which one? It should be the other one. Yeah. North? North, yeah. Okay. So we'll see. Yeah, there's all these other places right there. There's, there's even a gas, there's some gas stations here. 76 should be on the other side. This is where I use. This is where I usually go to, actually, uh, where I want to go see a movie. Which sadly the theater has been closed down. So yeah. where's the? Uh... It should be over there, in the back. Yeah. I remember right there used to be Fred Walkers. And then, and up there was where Chuck E. Cheese is, and probably still is there. I'm not so sure. Arco here. Is there another? Arco. Let's get the yeah, easy Okay. Now I may have seen one of Sean's videos, but yes, there is an Einstein Brothers Bagels here <laughs> in California. So, so <laughs> because I thought this was a local thing in Maryland, but I guess they knew what, what they were having here. And here's Best Buy, yep, in Pasadena, along with Ross. But well, we're gonna go check and see if maybe there is something available. If we can. Hopefully it's still open. It should be open because it's Black Friday. Or maybe not. <laughs> yeah, it's closed for Ross, but Best Buy should be open because it is I guess Ross doesn't have this. So I got out of Best Buy in Pasadena and I only bought two Blu-rays and and for a rare occasion there's steel books. I never owned a steel book before, but this is the first time. It's right here. I bought this along with the hundred pack of DVD-Rs that I needed because my other one is it's been giving me shit a lot lately so here it is the first two Batman movies that Tim Burton has directed and they're both steel books it looks amazing yeah check the back See ex what the art artwork looks like, and, the, and all the features that they have. 
Yeah, just perfect. Something you never thought you'd see. Yeah, because I love these movies. Yeah. Right now it's 5.48 a.m. And I gotta say, it was totally worth it. The best Black Friday sale that I really had to deal with. <laughs> but it was a must. Hundred dollars worth. Anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.